Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Civil Defense, and today we're gonna paint an AK. So uh, this is actually my first AK rifle. I just bought this semi recently here, and we're gonna paint it because I like painting guns. It's a lot of fun. I'm always curious about what kind of patterns you can come out with, and uh, I don't know, but black can just kind of be boring sometimes. So. Uh, for painting this gun, what we're going to do is I'm going to tape up where the bolt rides here. Uh, I'll tape up kind of this open area here that the safety covers and just close the safety. Probably shouldn't get paint on the inside, but it's an AK. It'll run no matter what, right? So I'm going to try to avoid that. Other than that, I'll take the optic off just because I'm not ready to paint that yet. I'll take the sling off, and I think that's about it. Uh, I'll leave the mag in. And uh, oh, I'll tape the the muzzle off and the uh, area to protect the threads here, and just so I can put a new device on. And then the front sight and the rear sight. Other than that, I'm just gonna paint it. Um, I've watched a couple other videos to try to get an idea of how to do this, and some people take things apart and take the trigger groups out and do all these complicated things and paint it in pieces. I'm not down for any of that. So again, just gonna tape off some key areas, and then I'm gonna roll with it. That's kind of my general plan. One of the reasons I like painting is because you can kind of experiment and it's pretty hard to screw up camo painting a gun. So that's a lot of fun. With this particular gun, what we're gonna try today is we're gonna base coat it maybe in like a light green or a light tan or something like that. And then we are going to try to use some striping and some sponging. Uh, I wanna try to, a little sponge pattern. So I'm gonna find an old sponge around here and we'll spray some paint, I'll get some paint in the sponge and we'll kind of dab it. So again, base coat, I'll stripe it in something and uh, and then maybe I'm gonna hit it with some, some sponging. Uh, that's kind of my general plan. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, I expect this one to take, uh, I'll probably get it done within the course of today. I guess I'm, I'm curious how long I'm gonna wait between coats to, to let, it, let it dry or not dry. But I might give it a base coat, wait 24 hours and then do the striping and sponging or I might just base coat it and then later today, like in four or five, six hours, something like that, just give it a uh, striping and sponging. So we'll just kind of see it all depends on what mood I'm in too. So that's it. This is the AK now. Take your last look at it because next time you see it, it'll be all fancified. Okay, so painted over the serial number here, or taped over the serial number here, uh, taped over kind of the rear sight. This is the best we're going to get. We'll just roll with it. Uh, the front sight, the muzzle. And then the uh, bolt, bolt carry group there, and I kind of have some tape running inside the charging handle, or the, char the safety, so hopefully that will uh, prevent problems. We'll find out. Um, but that's it. We'll give it a base coat, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so for a base coat, I'm going to go with this kind of light, earth tone, tan thing first. Okay, so we will give that a uh, couple hours or something like that, and then we'll come back and try to hit the uh, sponge.
Okay, so I was not planning on giving this a clear coat. However, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a clear coat. I was looking at it here and I'm really liking how this thing is turning out. So I'm going to hit it with a clear coat here. And I think, I think just one. This is kind of an experiment to see how it goes. So here we go. Okay, uh, I'm curious to see how this dries because right now it's got a sheen to it, but I'm assuming that's just because it's wet. I've never done a clear coat before, so we'll see as it dries how that turns out. So I'm just going to hit it with just one coat here, let it dry, and we'll experiment to see how that turns out. Because obviously I don't want a sheen on my camouflaged gun that would entirely defeat the point. So, here it is. Uh, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. Uh, I really like this. I also like that that coat of clear coat that I put on at the end really helped the texture a lot. It doesn't feel gritty. Usually uh, the paint can feel gritty. This has probably been drying after a clear coat for uh, an hour or two. Uh, nothing, nothing super long, but even right now I like the texture a lot. It feels pretty smooth. It feels uniform. It doesn't feel rough. It doesn't feel like anything's gonna I'm going to get dry chalk residue on my hands. I'm still trying not to handle it too much here. I'm going to let it sit overnight uh, to really solidify, but I am really liking how that sponge turned out. I'm just really enjoying how the uh, coloring and the texture turned out. So that's, uh, that's it. I'll run it. We'll see how well it holds up with the clear coat. And uh, I like I like painting guns. You send me your gun, I'll, I'll paint it. It'll be lots of fun. So I think that's all I got. Uh, get out there. If you're wondering, paint your gun. Try the sponge. Try a clear coat. You know, experiment. It's always fun to see how it turns out. Uh, until then, do brave deeds and endure.